but I am at Twin Dams, that's exactly where I am. So there is a beautiful monitor lizard that we saw this morning that is still sitting perfectly on the edge of the water. There he is, just kind of taking it very easy. Got a little pillow in the form of some molded clay on the edge of the water where eelies and other things have walked around and caused a bit of the clay to kind of develop. And so, perfect place to rest your head. Hello, monitor lizard. Oh, are you sleepy? Look at the size of those claws. Aren't they amazing? You would think for a lizard they wouldn't have such big claws. They almost rival that of some of the cat species. You'd imagine actually a leopard claw would be probably of a similar length to what you see on that. Maybe a little bit bulkier than what the monitor lizard's got, but similar length. And they need that to be able to grip on sand and when they climb trees. We know monitor lizards, both rock and water monitors, are very 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 good at climbing any type of tree and so those will help just to grip and climb much like we see with the leopard's claw and even lions when they climb from time to time so very useful and you can see then that perfect coloration that blends in with vegetation that's normally around water because remember most vegetation around water is generally going to be quite green and and bright given that it has high concentrations of water you can actually see the grass there is a little bit green and so that coloration that it's got will blend perfectly it's got these sort of muted yellows and greens and broken patterns and that will help it just to blend into its environment particularly when doing what it's doing now which is sunning itself getting that body temperature up and then able to hunt from there Jenny Animation, you say our monitor lizard is being monitored. Well, yes, it is. Look, it even notices it's been monitored. Hello, monitor lizard. What have you seen? Isn't that a beady eye? Hunter, the monitor lizards are quite interesting in terms of what they eat. They have got quite a wide array of food items that they go for. Primarily what they'll go for, though, is eggs. So varying types of birds that nest on the shores of water so the lapwings um, that we see here plovers even ducks to a degree they'll go after their eggs they'll also get the odd insects they sometimes even scavenge off carrion you'll see them getting into, stuck into some carrion from time to time small fish if they can get hold of them frogs are a big part of their diet so quite a varied array for the water monitor the rock monitor is more eggs and small mammals and insects that's what that will feed off and even sometimes snakes. I've seen them go after snakes from time to time too. And other lizards, particularly smaller lizard like the striped skinks, rainbow skinks, those kind of things. They do go after them sometimes too. But look at that. That's such a nice view of one. And that beautiful afternoon light just bringing out those colors. Ah... Jonathan, who's 11 years old from Alabama in the United States. Hello, Jonathan. I hope you're having a wonderful day. You wondering if we have any of the lizards that can run on water? Unfortunately not, Jonathan. I really wish we did. I think they're called Jesus lizards, if I'm correct. But they, or yeah, I think it is Jesus lizard. I'm not, I'm not 100 percent sure. But they, we don't get them here, unfortunately. I really wish we did because it looks phenomenal to watch these lizards run across water they have those big webbed feet and they spread their toes out and that causes a massive amount of surface area that can keep them buoyant enough to then paddle across and run across water so unfortunately our monitor lizards can't do that but what you will find is you see how long the tail is on this lizard Jonathan it's got a very long tail and that means that this lizard can swim very well that's like having when you go into the water and if you put on fins or flippers you might know them as and you go into water and you kick with them you can feel that you can swim faster and so imagine having very long tail like that much like a crocodile it helps to push this lizard through the water and it's able to move quite fast through the surface of the water but not on top So, Kim, this monitor lizard is not as big as it's going to get. This is still a small monitor lizard. In fact, I would say this is about half the size of some of the ones we do get out here. Their tails are very long, so this one looks much longer just because its tail is sticking out. But it is still fairly small in comparison to some of the other ones I've seen here. There are some monster monitor lizards, particularly the one that moves from Twin Dams to Gari Dam. We often see its tracks along the road. That is a very big lizard indeed, and probably, I would say, maybe not double but one and a half times the size of this guy. 
so they still will get bigger and the rock monitors while they don't necessarily get as long their tail tends to be a little bit shorter but they do get much heavier set than the water monitors big thick necks and heads and bulky legs that they move around on land and you'll often find them in the trees walking around yes we are talking about you There's something sort of cunning about lizards, don't you think? They, the way that they look at us, it almost looks as though they're up to something and plotting and scheming, almost conniving type creatures. I don't know why I always get that. It's, maybe it's because of the way they sort of squint their eye slightly and close their eyelid a little bit, that they look like that. So David, you're asking if they're territorial. David, I'm honestly not sure. Um, I do know that they do compete quite heavily over females, which generally is typical of a territorial animal, but I'm not 100% sure. I might be wrong in saying that, but I know that they do fight quite a lot with one another. Males will often go up on back legs and grab each other, bite each other by the neck, whip with their tails. It's quite something actually watching monitor lizards fight. It gets very rough and you'll see them twisting and turning and rolling around and even rolling off banks like this into water. It's quite something. So I think they are territorial, but I'm not 100% sure. I might be wrong. And I'll actually, let me see if I can't find out for you while I'm sitting here. Oh, Hunter, you were wondering how we tell the difference between a male and a female. I'm actually not 100% sure either, Hunter. I don't think there is a way to tell other than by size-wise. Um, a lot of the time with the lizards, you'll find that sometimes the males, I mean the females are a little bit larger. In this case, I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to try to find out for you, Hunter, and see if I can't find some sort of information as to whether the male or female is bigger. It doesn't say anything about it being bigger or smaller. It just it doesn't say actually if the male is bigger or the female is bigger So maybe there isn't any way to tell the difference. I'll have to look it up and see For you hunter, but I'm not sure now in terms of territory. Yes, they are territorial. So there we go. They are territorial animals and They do definitely fight with one another's but in terms of male and female, we'll have to try and research that a bit more for you, Hunter. There we go. It's decided it's time to move now. So you can get an appreciation for just how long that tail is. You see the tail is almost the same length as the body. Very, very big. So Francis from Israel. Sorry about the wind. It might be really blowing into the mic so I do apologize if it's a bit windy I'm gonna try to face my head away um, Francis they mostly are seen on their own and unless they're mating or they're in a territorial dispute for a mate the most I've seen together is five which seem to be a whole bunch of males coming towards a female and they were then maybe wrestling with one another there was lots of sort of fighting and chasing of each other but generally yes on their own like this it's very seldom you'll see monitor lizards together um, unless they Where are you off to though? You're running out of space. Jenny, animation, you asking if they are closely related to Komodo dragons. Well, they're pretty much in the same family. So yes, there is some relation there it's probably quite a distant one but these are one of the bigger lizards that you get in the world um, and very similar to what the Komodo dragons are so same kind of situation in fact funny enough talking about whether there's two of them there is another one right there in front of this one now I'm gonna try go forward a little bit Seb see if you can see it can you see its tail just in front of its head oh, got to be careful I don't go oh let's see if we're gonna have a territorial we're we gonna have some mating. No, they've just climbed over one another. It's difficult to see because they're behind a clump of grass, but you can see there's the head of one. Now that's one slightly larger, and then the other one's gone over the top towards the other side of the clump of grass. Of course, there would be a clump of grass exactly where we're trying to look. But there's definitely two of them there. There's not just the one. Come on, you two, come out. Hmm, interesting. We're just talking about whether you see more than one together, and there we go. I wonder if these two are not trying to mate with one another. You do find reptiles will mate in the winter months sometimes. So, 
Oh, Alice, I didn't hear you. Sorry, the wind is blowing heavily. If you can just shout, tell me that again. No, Taylor is shout, telling me that I'm going to shout something, but I can't hear what. <laughs> Godzilla. So, Taylor, why would I be shouting Godzilla? These two are not that big. If it was a very big one, then we could shout Godzilla. Seb, I'm going to try from a different angle here because I think maybe if we go back, we might be better off. Monitor lizards are giving us the runaround. Um, no, it's not much better from here because now the light is not good. Uh, you know what, Seb? Hold on. We're going on the other side. When in doubt, go round. That's going to be the motto for the day. Now, of course, we haven't had any tips of the days because we've had no Byron around, but Byron is coming back soon.